Hello everyone, Chef Jun is back. Today, we're gonna make ramen. This is the most popular ramen in Korea. The big difference between Japanese ramen and Korean ramen is more like Korean ramen is known for instant ramen. It's pretty good. But when it comes to Japanese ramen, it's like slow cooking a pork broth with a handmade noodle. So I'm gonna make the more authentic way of making noodle dish with the flavor of this shinamyeon. Let's get it. Okay, let's make a stock. So I'm using the whole chicken, but I'm just gonna use the half of them because that's pretty enough for my recipe. Just score the, uh, the leg side, and cut off your tail, and put it in a pressure cooker. I just added a little bit of a beef shank, and some bones, and dried shiitake mushroom, or known as pyogo mushroom in Korean and few cloves of garlic and half cut onion. To give some more fresh flavor, I'm adding some scallion and then add filtered water all the way up to the top of this pressure cooker. Close the lid and then put it on a medium high heat. Let's make noodle. I measured out water and bread flour and add a little bit of salt, which gives a really good strength to the gluten. And I'm adding a little bit of a baking soda, which gives some tension to the uh, white flour. Mix it well. And just roughly mix all together, and then use your hand and squeeze out until it forms a uniform shape of the dough. Knead it really well until you feel some developed gluten. Once it's rested for an hour in the fridge, use a pasta roller or noodle maker, anything that you have. Sheet out your dough. To prevent sticking together, add some flour. To make nicer noodle, and then pre through 2 mm witness noodle cutter to make this thin, nice noodle. Dredge some flour to prevent all the noodles stick together. And then start portion your noodle. I'm measuring just 100 grams of noodle. And then once it's done, give it a good shake to get rid of all the excess flour. After two to three hours of simmering, I'm saving all the beef and mushroom for the topping and then strain my beautiful chicken beef stock. It's not over yet. Put the strained stock back into the pressure cooker and then add a seedless dried chili. 
This gives a nice heat and very fresh flavor instead of it's dried. And then I'm grinding some Korean chili flake until it's super fine texture and then added some fresh ground black pepper. This is the moment of making red color soup and the flavor of the red. To give some more flavor, I'm making garlic and scallion oil. To make this, smash your garlic and just roughly chop garlic and scallion. And put it in a hot oil. I'm using canola oil because it doesn't have any taste and flavor. At this moment, add a little bit of a Korean chili flake. Put the entire oil into the stock. After the oil, give it a good boil until you can taste the really intense beef and spicy stock. For topping, I'm just gonna use a sliced scallion and spicy chili. I'm getting rid of all the seeds because to control the, the spiciness of this spicy chili and then thinly sliced cooked shiitake mushroom that we just used for stock. Same as mushroom. Let's just slice some beef. This one you can also use uh, just a fresh meat cooked with the subi technique or pan fried or whatever you want to put it on top of your ramen. Okay, let's start cooking your noodle because this is a handmade fresh noodle. It doesn't take longer than one minute once it's fully cooked. Get rid of all the excess water and put it into a bowl and put your topping nicely. And then, for your spicy ramen broth. And this is Jun's Shinamyeon. All right, this is my style ramen. It's basically Shinamyeon without MSG. All right, let me taste it. Yeah. 